Hello guys, this is Sammy from Acrobat.net and this is the third video in my series on how to use Cheat Engine in order to hack almost any game on your PC. So today we're going to have a look at encrypted values. Obviously we're going to use Cheat Engine. And well, what do I mean by encrypted values? Now so far we've learned how to find 4 byte values and other value types, okay? Simply by just scanning for that value. Now, in some cases, the developer will have foreseen that some people will try to hack his game, and he will have changed some stuff around. So, what you can do, for example, if you're a developer, is you can do something as simple as multiply the value by 8. So if you see a money value that is, that is 1, then the value in Cheat Engine or in your process will be 8. Okay. Or, well, in this case it's even worse. In this case what they decided to do is multiply by 8 and add 6, which is really, really awful. Just, uh, you know, for a hacker, if you're a hacker, it'll take some time to figure that value out, okay? So this is a really common thing that uh, developers do, by the way, uh, in Flash games. They'll just uh, multiply the value by 8. I have no idea why, okay? So now if I'm trying to hack a Flash game, I always try to just multiply the value by 8. And it works surprisingly, um, you know, surprisingly it works a lot. So, okay. I'm just going to show you how we would usually handle this. So. Um, let's say we don't know the encryption, okay? I do know the encryption, obviously, because I've already hacked this game before, but now I'm just gonna act as if I didn't know. So what we do is, we scan for an unknown initial value, okay? This will basically scan all the values in this process, and yeah. And then I'm gonna show you how we proceed. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change that value, okay? I'm going to sell some stuff so the value will increase, okay? And we're going to use that to our advantage. Sell all. All right. As you can see, my value is now 40 higher than before. What we can now do is we can go into Cheat Engine and we can say scan for all increased values, okay? Next scan. Okay, that uh, that eliminated uh, about 22 million values right there, and that's how we proceed now. Uh, and now I'm just gonna buy stuff, buy one of those. I'm gonna go for decreased value. Next scan. Again, we uh, got rid of a million there. I'm just gonna buy some more. And obviously the uh, value is now decrease again obviously because we bought something next scan decrease again next scan decrease again next scan decrease again next scan and can I buy more okay decrease again and next scan and as you can see after you've done this like uh, six seven times already I have only 23 values left that Actually, it, it works surprisingly fast. I mean, now I'm just going to sell some stuff so the value will increase again. And I'm just going to go for increase value. Next scan. We're left with 15. Now we're left with 8. Now we're left with 3. And I can already see the two values that are correct. And I'm just going to do this again. Increase the value. Okay. And there we go. Now, after about, what was that? Maybe, I, I didn't actually keep count, but after about 14 rotations, I've come from, what was it, like 20 million or 24 million values? I've come to two, okay? So, it works surprisingly fast, even if the values are encrypted, okay? So, that's basically that. If the developer has chosen to multiply by a negative number then well that's just bad then you'll have to do the whole thing in reverse but that almost never happens I, I literally never had that happen to me okay what they'll do is they'll multiply by some number that is positive obviously 
Uh, and what they'll do then is if they're really, really evil, they'll just add something on top of that. And that's about it, okay? And yeah, that almost always works if anything else does not work. So these two values correspond to my gold. I'm just gonna take them down into the list and change them in order to demonstrate. Um, so what they basically did is they multiplied by, um, just gonna sell something here, uh, buy something. As you can see, my value is now at 10, th 100,000, I mean. So what they did basically is they multiplied by eight, so 800,000, and they added six. Uh, which is is really an evil thing to do. I I, not, I mean not, not that I, they're evil or anything, but it's it's kind of you know hard to figure out. So as you can see, I can now change that value. So if I wanted one million, or you know ten million for that matter, I would go for eighty million, and then add six on top of that. Okay, and I now I should have ten million. And as you can see, ten million. Good. Okay. So that works, and yeah, there is, uh, okay, that actually is the technique that we use if everything else fails. Now, I might make a next video because there's also values that get, you know, rewritten all the time, and if you want to hack those, that's kind of tricky too. If you guys are interested, I will make a fourth video in this series. For today, I think uh, this tutorial is enough. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you to hack your favorite video games on your computer. And yeah, thanks to you guys for watching. See you guys soon on HackerBad.net and God bless you.